Hey guys, what is up? Mr. Yo-Yo here, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a tutorial on how to make a YouTube outro using PicMonkey and Pixlr. So yeah, let's get into it. Alright, so the first thing you have to do is you have to open your web browser, of course, and um, you have to type in WW, you have to type in PicMonkey. Um, I already got it up right here. And um, this is what the inner... Dang it, well, this is what the interface should look like right here. Then you go to edit, and um, you click you click on it, and then, um, well, actually, no, that's not the first step. Um, first step is to open up PigMonkey, and, um, but actually, the real one is to first find the background that you want to use. Um, it has to be... 2500 by 1600 so for example maybe this or this maybe uh, just a plain image of some sort but I already got one up um, which is where is it this one this one which the this is my outro background then you go to crop then you go to fix proportions and then you go to your screen it's at the way bottom and then you click apply so now you got this and now um what you want to do is first you want to add you want to go to the little butterfly that, that says overlays and then go on geometric and click on this the first option as you can see a black square this is going to be for your video so I'm going to maximize this Just a little more bigger right there and then what you want to do is oh dang all right hold on let me just move this all right and then and then you go and then you um right cl click and then you go to duplicate overlay and now you have the same square then you just drag it i think yeah you just drag it next to it and then those are for your two videos or you can do one video either way and you click the X. Oh dang it! Hold on, it's not it's centered right now. It's now it's centered. Then um, what you want to do? Oh dang it! I don't know what's going on. There you go. And now next you want to um add text. Um, on the it's gonna and then I would recommend. Poet Send 1, that's the text I would recommend. You click Add Text, then you would drag it up at the top. This is my recommendation. Make it about 36. And then um, make it any color you want. For this one, I'm going to do green. No, actually, no, it doesn't fit. Um, it, it all depends on your um, background. If it's, um, if it's green, I wouldn't recommend doing green, or if it's blue, you know what I mean. Then you would type in check out my previous videos. And then um you would just think alright. You would just stretch the text out a bit to make sure it's all in one line. Adjust it, there you go. Now the next thing you want to do is you want your social media. So, um, so you would, um, so you would go to overlays, your own, and then, um, before doing that though, you're gonna have to look up, um, a transparent Twitter logo, a transparent Instagram logo, a transparent subscribe button. YouTube subscribe and then you want to get a transparent YouTube logo I already got those um, but you can look that up in Google images now, then I would click then you would go ahead into overlays click your own and then I got this and you would drag this I would recommend dragging it to the right and then making the subscribe button go to the left I would just minimize just minimize that a bit there and then Next, you want to add. I'm gonna add my YouTube oh, YouTube logo right there. 
Then I'm gonna make it a bit smaller to fit, probably about there. And now you're gonna type in your social media. So, um, again, I'm gonna go Poet Ten One. And then for Twitter, um, I would recommend making it about 64. So, oh dang it! All right, I would recommend making it 64. And um, I would go with light blue for this one. And at Mr. Yo. Yo, yo, five. That's my Twitter handle. And then the next thing you would want to, and then you would want to add your YouTube. So you can go there. Make it about, make it 64. It's the same thing as last time. And then I would do Mr. Yo, yo. Then I, I, I forgot. I would highlight it. Then I would make it about red. I would make it a red. There you go. What do you want? Then, there you go. And now the final thing you want to do is add your um, last overlay, which is going to be the subscribe button. Now you can, um, here's a, some though, you can um, actually make it different colors if you want it a bit more stylish. I would recommend that if you make it different colors. Um, but personally, for me, I'm just going to keep the same here. And then... This is your intro. I mean, outro, sorry. And then you're gonna go click save. And then go on Pierce. You, you gotta keep everything here. You can change the dimensions if you want. And then you can save your computer, OneDrive, or Dropbox. But personally, I'm gonna say, I'm. But I already have an outro, so I'm gonna click cancel right here. And then I'm going. And then next, you're gonna look up Pixlr. Dot com and then pixel.com slash editor click on open image from your computer and then that is going to be your outro I have one set up oh god all right all right so here's my outro right here there you go there's your outro pretty stylish and then you're gonna go click open and then you actually and then to make it a bit more stylish, you have to have borders. So, these are what they look like. You can make these in GIMP. I'll do a tutorial for that in another video. But basically, you're going to go click the magic wand. Or something. Click on the transparent space. Edit. Invert selection. Control C. And you click, you gotta click close. No, and then control V. And now, um, you're, you're going to say... Wow, that's way too big. I can't fit that on that video on the box. Well, you can. Um, if you do this, you go to Edit Free Transform. Um, all right. Sorry about that. Hold on. All right. So then you are gonna make it about this right here. Sorry about that. Um, I just got a phone call from someone. Alright, and that looks pretty good. And now, oh god, alright, um, dang it, um, I messed up. I messed up. So, hold on, let me just do this again. Alright, that looks pretty good. You click yes. And then, you're gonna click duplicate layer and then you have a duplicate layer and then you're just going to drag this to here and then you are going to click file save save it to jpeg and then you can just save it to your computer well guys i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial on how to make a outro using picmonkey and pixlr um if you like this video please subs please subscribe and like this video for more, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.